Hey guys, Ketan again. Today we are solving another problem from the beginner level of Kochev and we are doing it in C++. So today's problem is second largest and the problem code is FLOW017. Okay, the problem statement is very simple. We have three numbers A, B and C as the inputs. We have to write a program to find second largest among the three numbers. Right, it's very straightforward. And uh, we have test cases in the input. So, so in this case, 1, 2, 0 is one number, 1, 1 is another number, and 400 is the third number. Of these, 400 is the largest, and 120 is the second largest. So we have to output 120, right? Okay, let's jump right into code because it's very simple. Uh, we have two ways of doing it. First one is that we can write a bunch of if-else statements and we can find the second largest number. Okay, we can find the first largest number first and then using that we can find the second largest number. That's one way of doing it and we also we can also do it another way. We can sort the list and just output the second element. If we do an ascending order, uh, it will be the second element from the left. And if we do an a descending order, well, we only have three elements, so it will be the second element uh, on both the sides, right? Uh, so we can do that. Or we can store two variables. One is the max variable and another will be the second max variable. And uh, whenever we uh, look at, uh, we when we look at the first A, we see if it is max or, uh, you know, second max. And based on that, we store these variables and at the end, we just output second max, right? Okay. Mm. Uh, I'll do, Okay, I wanted to do if else, but I'm thinking if I should do the max and second max. Well, array sorting will take a little bit of time complexity or the code will be a little bit complex and we don't need that for this problem to solve this problem. So let me just do, okay, I'll do the max and second max variable uh, method. Okay. Okay. So now, this is just uh, this code I have written previously and this will be the template for every other uh, this will, I'll say this as a template so that I can just move on from here because this is just test case, test case loop right there's nothing special in that we just take test cases and here is the actual uh, processing input right so we take uh, three integers in okay let's store them in array uh, of size three okay we take in We take a of we take it into a of zero, and then the next one into a of one, and then the next one into a of two, right? So we have all the three variables in array. A. Okay. Now we need another for loop. Int j equal to zero, j less than three, j plus plus, right? We are going through each uh, element of in the array. Okay. We have the max, we have the integer uh, max, and then we have the second max, which is s max. Okay, now let's initialize them to int underscore min. Right, I think we need the limits header for that, so let's include that. Is it limit dot h or limits dot h? It's limits dot h. Let's keep it there like that and okay. Now if a of j is greater than max, then max equal to a of j, right? And then second max is equals to uh, the current max. Okay, we have to do second max first and then update the max. Right? And then if not, else if a of j is greater than s max. Right? You can't write if here, you have to write else if because if this happens, then this should not happen. 
because we are changing the smax here so we don't want this to happen uh, after this so we have to write else if okay now aj if aj of aj a of j is greater than smax then smax is updated right and i think that's it okay now let's check this after the loop we just output the smax and we format the output with end line right so let's uh, check this we have the input given here so we need 123 12 and 10 123 12 and 10 right <clears throat> so we are able to solve this and uh, There could be a problem here if uh, okay, we don't have any problem. Uh, I was thinking about what happens if they are equal, but I think I guess it's fine. Okay, so that's how you solve that. This is one of the methods, and you can solve it with a bunch of if else conditions also, and also by sorting the given elements, right? Okay, so let's talk about the time complexity and space complexity of this. Uh, obviously we only have three elements that uh, so the time complexity will be three but if if this was not a constant and there were uh, many elements then the time complexity will be o of n but since this is only three elements it is constant time uh, so the order of so the time complexity is order of one and the space complexity is also order of one since uh, although we are using an array we are only storing three elements and we know that there will only be three elements right they can't, there can't be more than three elements so it's fine we don't have to bother about time complex and space complexity in this case too much because there's only we are only processing three elements right yeah so that's that uh, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more problems and share it with your friends if you like it and hit the like button Alright, thank you guys. See you in a bit.